Welcome to a uh, revolution. I am Lucia Gabriela. I am the creator of the Liberating Your Inner Beauty Revolution. So I want you to raise your hand if you have ever experienced or felt any kind of abuse. Physical, mental, emotionally, any kind of abuse that you ever had as a child, as an adult, from your parent, from your loved one from your co-workers, from your boss, from anybody out there in the world. Even from yourself. It doesn't matter just the abuse that we get from the external environment, but also from the one that we do it to our own body, to our own mind, and to our own heart. So raise your hand if you have ever experienced that. Raise your other hand if you have experienced any kind of fear in your life. Fear in those moments that when you know that you're being abused or you're in struggles in those moments that you've had the fear to move forward. You have that fear that keeps you stuck from, from achieving your dreams, from achieving your goals. You have that fear that you don't know what, what to do. Like in an abusive relationship, you had the fear to get out of that environment because it become your comfort zone. You have that fear to move forward and leave the person behind you. Raise your hand if you have experienced fears that are not in alignment with your being and that keeping you from being who you truly are and from who you truly are meant to be in this life, in this world. Raise your hand if you ever feel guilt in your life. If you ever feel that guilt of leaving the person that is abusing you, you feel like you are their hero and you want to help them, you want to change it, and you have realized that you're getting that kind of abuse from your external environment and from that person, and then you want to move forward, and you have the fear to move forward, but now you have the guilt that's killing you. The guilt of leaving that person behind that you feel in your heart and your soul that you are meant to be here to help them. But that guilt is killing you. Oh, that guilt that you have as a mother, that you're a working mother, or entrepreneur mom, that you're doing the best you can in the world to raise your kid, and then you have this guilt that you're not doing the best. You have that guilt that you are leaving your child behind those emotional guilt that are keeping you stuck. Have you ever had that guilt of doing what's right for you and afraid of, with a fear that what people are going to say or how other people are going to portray you? Raise your hand if you have, have, have felt guilt in your life. Raise your hand if you have ever felt that you're in prison in your own body. That no matter what you do, you can't get out of there. No matter what's going on in your life, and no matter what, how many goals, how many dreams you have, you feel you can't achieve anything you want because you feel so trapped. You feel so in prison in your own body, in your own mind in your soul, that when you close your eyes, you are nowhere where you want to go. You are inside of your body, screaming and screaming and yelling and asking for help. You're pulling your hair off, the little you have. You're pulling your hair off because you want to get out of there. You're asking for help. You're just so in prison. Raise your hand if you have ever felt this way.
This revolution is about breaking free from these vicious cycles of abuse, fear, guilt, and self-imprisonment. These vicious cycles that we are carrying heavy in our shoulders for the past centuries, that our family are carrying, that our grandfather suffered abuse, fears, guilt, and self-imprisonment. And then you see it in generations coming over and over all the time, these chains are not being breaking. Like, we just, we're just tired of this. That's why we have created the revolution to break free from those. From this time now when we need it the most. Now is when we need to break free from these vicious cycles. So we can create an environment, a platform, leave a beautiful world to our children. That is our vision. So you may be asking how this revolution started. It started with my own life. I grew up in an abusive environment at home. Well, <laughs> my dad was abusive to my mom. And then my brother became abusive to my mom too. As a child, a five years old, asking myself, what is my purpose in life? What I'm here? Because I really simply couldn't believe that this world was so unfair and so wrong and so drastic for a child to see this. I promise and I swear myself not to ever allow any man to raise their hand on me or anybody abuse to me. It was a very, as a child, it was a very hard environment to live. I created my own disease. That's a long story. But when my mom left my dad, I felt so relief. As a child, you know, she took like 23 years to leave my dad, something like that. And when we came to U.S., I never expected. <laughs> I never expected myself that as strong person as I am, I was gonna fall into an abusive relationship myself. Not re a relationship where my partner was the big uh, the, um, the abuser. Because he was fine, he was, you know, he had abuse in his life too, you know, in, in, his, in his family, his background, his parents, he had his story to tell. It was my, my part of my life, my story that where I was experiencing abuse because I was becoming the abuser and at the same time, I knew that I had to get out, I had the fear to get out. I had the fear that I wasn't going to be able to make it on my own. I had the fear that who I am to be capable to do everything I want in my life without somebody backing me up. You know, as a woman, you feel like you need a man. And we, de we, we definitely need a man in our life. We need love in our life. But you had that fear that you just feel like you're not capable of anything. And then I f when I decided to leave, couple times I had the guilt he needed me I needed to be here in his life to help him in some way who I am to walk away from being a hero <laughs> from being that person that he needed the most at that moment 
I wanted to do sacrifice, right? Until I felt like I was going nowhere in my life. I was I felt literally like I was in in in, in prison. I, I, everything was going on with us, like financially, work, um, career, everything. My family, everything was collapsing because. Our environment was not right. We were not in alignment with each other. We love each other, but we were not in alignment. We were abusive to each other. We had fear for each other. We were guilty for each other. I knew that I needed to get out, but I couldn't. Then I got pregnant. I have my beautiful daughter. She was a blessing of the sky. And as a woman, we think that kid was gonna fix. It's gonna fix everything, right? that they're gonna come and ah, everything's gonna get fixed but no it doesn't get fixed it get worse so I realized that my daughter was living the life that I was living where I was a child I was I'm a very active mom I have so many play groups say mommy groups and all that stuff and I realized that my daughter was becoming abusive to other kid. As a mother, that's a shock. You don't want to do that. I mean, you don't want to be the mom that you, everybody's pointing at you because your daughter, you know, pushed one kid or oh, bite the other one. I mean, even though my daughter is an amazing kid and they say it's normal for kids to act this way, it's not normal in my heart and my being to see that. It's not normal to see that kids are the reflection of the parent. My daughter was the reflection of me and my partner. When I saw this was not gonna be, a, I was looking, it wasn't gonna be any solution going on in this moment. I was looking for a ment, uh, for mental coaches, uh, spiritual coaches. I was looking for help, marriage counselor, family counselor, name it. <clears throat> I became a Reiki practitioner myself to see the energy balance and all that stuff. And it gets to the point that when you wake up one day and you're like, everything you're trying to do, you are swimming against the river. Instead of just flowing, you're just swimming against the river. And I took the decision to walk out, to take my daughter with me and walk out of my relationship. A very strong decision to do for, uh, for especially for me, that all oh, my family is not here. I'm alone. I need a courage to do that. But I, I realized that I became aware of what was going on, and I have to accept that what was going on. That I was the victim, and I was the abuser at the same time. And now I'm becoming the abuse of my own child because she's acting with this abuse and with these fears and with this, this, all the cycles that I'm passing on to her. That's where I became who I am now, where I am creating this revolution. So I want you to join me because I don't want my daughter to live what I live. I don't want um, any other children to live where the parents are living now. It is, it is time for us as an adult and for human beings to, to really break free from this. I don't want to inherit this to my child. I, I, it's time for me to do the work for me. So she is aware of that, of like those emotions, those vicious cycles but she doesn't experience because I want her to be a better better being. And that's, I think, that's the mission that all parents have in their life. We're putting together these 28 days email revolution where uh, you will get an email every day with exquisite, short, 
digestible, juicy information about, you know, motivation, juicing recipes for like detox your body, superfood to introduce in our, in our body every day of our life, and mental exercises, you know, emotional exercises to break free from these vicious cycles. We have also um, these uh, coaches, the personal trainers with the workout, like yoga, you know, nice workout so we can, you know, take care of our body too and stop abusing it. It's a 28 days email revolution to liberate our inner beauty from abuse, fear, guilt, and self imprisonment so we can welcome our true majesty with awareness, acceptance, gratitude, appreciation, and love. I want you to join us today and experience how wonderful our world will be one day when we all together break free from this. Have an awesome, beautiful day. <laughs>